Exercise number two uh, for your hip is if you just did the hip slides to warm it up. Um, all of these exercises, by the way, you're gonna do about 10 to 12 of them two to three times just to get yourself warmed up. The stretching, the same thing. So this is gonna be once you've warmed your hip up, now you're gonna do the stretch. So again, you're gonna lay flat on your couch or on your bed. If you're all the way flat, this is your replaced hip. Could be flat on the bed. Here's my couch, a little short for me, obviously. But if I grab my leg, I'm gonna to start to flex my hip. Here's about 90 degrees. Both, I'm gonna try and get my hands on top. And you're gonna try and pull the knee toward your chest. So we need you to stretch. Once you stretch the operative side, you need to stretch the non-operative side, both sides, because when you stretch the non-operative side, you then start to stretch the front out of the operative side. 